Hi, my name is David McCursh, and I lead product and portfolio strategy at Tanium. I'm really excited to be speaking uh, to you, all of you today about our partnership with Microsoft. Many of our customers have been using Tanium and Microsoft together to manage and secure the entirety of their IT estate. And we're excited to take the lived experience of those customers and build upon it to make sure that all of our customers and partners get to benefit from the combination of Tanium's real-time data, visibility, and control, as well as the analytics and orchestration that Microsoft provides. With our partnership, we've got three principal goals in mind. The first is we want to make sure that our customers have an, an IT estate that is secure and perform it. And over time, we want to combine the real-time data provided by Tanium along with the analytics and orchestration provided by Microsoft to actually drive real automation in our customers' IT organizations. Today, I want to do three things. The first is I'd like to share what this partnership means for you all, our customers and our partners. I'd like to actually show you real software, what we've actually built with the AAD and Sentinel teams, and uh, outline what's coming next, and show you how you can use Microsoft and Tanium together to make your environment more secure, performance, and automated. And I'd like to turn it over to Dan Johnson, the CVP of Cybersecurity Business Development at Microsoft, to, to explain what this partnership means. So when you think about your core deliverables and your core mission and how we can align across Tanium's real-time data to allow Microsoft customers to actually identify threats at incredible speeds across the entirety of their IT environment, you know that in security time is of the essence. So we think this partnership is something that will really give our joint customers a robust set of tooling to allow them to identify, block, threats in the entirety of their environment, as well as manage um, things like patching, which I know we're going to talk about a little bit later. I often say that I have the coolest job in cybersecurity because I'm the person that helps to get drive the Microsoft ecosystem, right? Because we know it's an ecosystem and we know that our customers need additional tools beyond what we are delivering as first party tools to actually be secure on their platforms, whatever those platforms are. So partnerships like the one we have on Tanium will enhance our capabilities, right? We are on a mission to keep the world safe. And whilst we can deliver a lot of great first party tooling, both on the Microsoft platform and on third party platforms, we also know that we are not going to have the completeness of solution to address everything in a customer's environment. And when we partner with somebody as robust as Tanium with the capabilities that you have, we know we're making it easier for our customers. And that's really what security is about today, right? Is simplifying the ability to detect threats, simplifying the ability to block things before they get into your environment. And that's how we drive our ecosystem strategy is how can we build robustness of tools to address the entirety of a customer's environment? And how can we make it easier for them to get value out of those tools very quickly? quickly and our partnerships that we sign allow us to do that. And this is one that I'm particularly excited about because you have such a completeness of vision and solution. So one of the things I'm most excited about, and I'll give you a preview of it right now, is we are going to announce this integration between Tanium and Microsoft's conditional access solutions in, at Ignite in October. This is going to unlock some of that real-time data evaluation. If you think about how conditional access works within our Microsoft Entra Suite with our Azure Active Directory platform, it actually is taking a real-time snapshot of the threat environment that your workers are working in. Having Tanium be able to access that data data and make decisioning around that data across the entirety of your state is incredibly powerful. It's those type of direct integrations and those type of deep integrations that are going to help our customers just simply be more secure. So with that, I actually want to talk about one of the key use cases that are motivated by having the combination of Tanium's real-time uh, IT asset visibility and control in concert with all the other capabilities that Microsoft provides. Many IT leaders today are evaluating zero trust and conditional access solutions. And they're evaluating these solutions because the traditional corporate network perimeter is evaporating. Now, one of the challenges and one of the key challenges that we've heard from our customers is that to do a true conditional access zero trust strategy requires a co confident perspective of device posture that is real time and non-intrusive. Because if you take into account device posture and you don't have a performant way to validate device posture before you grant access to specific services or applications, 
then you have the risk of causing employee productivity and uh, other issues uh, when, when people are trying to get their job done. And so what we've done together, combining Tanium's real-time data uh, capabilities and Azure AD is actually provide a holistic turnkey solution that allows people to confidently adopt uh, zero trust strategies relying on a real-time control plane that Tanium provides. And so what I'd actually like to do is hand it off to my colleague, Mike, who's gonna show you what we've built with the Microsoft team. Off to you, Mike. Thank you, David. What I wanna to do to get started here is to expand on your comments and briefly introduce everyone to Tanium. So Tanium is a converged endpoint management platform as was described with the ability to interact with all of the endpoints across your state in near real time. So one of the things that we like to showcase here is the ability to step up to the console, ask a simple question, which could be something like, get all the installed applications from every Windows device that I have out there. I click there and within a few seconds, I have a response back from over thousands of endpoints that are in my demo environment here and that we scale up to meet the needs of the largest organizations of the world in a similar fashion, being able to give them a real time view into the context of the endpoints in their estate. So you can see here this list of all the installed applications with counts and summaries. And then I have the ability to also take action on what you see here as well. So a lot, just kind of scratching the surface here, but some of the other areas where we typically find a lot of in initial value with customers is the ability to conduct network discovery. So the ability to ensure that we have insight and purview and visibility into all of the devices that are on my network that might be attached. So we can ensure that we can close any gaps you may have about devices that are currently unmanaged for whatever reason. So based on the, the architecture that we have, where we have the ability to conduct these network discoveries in a peer-based fashion, very aggressively, but also with a limited impact on your network to ensure that you have up to the minute information about all the devices that might be out there, along with the ability to close that gap and ensure that everything has all of the tools that you use to secure your environment on those systems. And now I think I'm gonna step into Azure Active Directory and the integration that we have there. So as mentioned earlier, what we wanna do here is really enhance what Microsoft offers out of the box with respect to, um, in this case, identity protection and the risky user feature. The risk level of a user can be leveraged in conjunction with conditional access policies in order to effectively secure critical servers or services. This leverage is really powerful native Azure AD capabilities to analyze user behavior and assess risk based on login activity like location, application access, and more. In Tanium, we can extend this capability by leveraging detailed current device posture information in order to assess risk and by performing automated remediation in real time. As you can see here, we have a particular user who's been assigned a high risk level based on a current device posture check. And within our conditional access policy, we've configured high level risk users, owners of Windows, Mac, or Linux endpoints to be blocked access to Office 365. So within Tanium, we're synchronizing the view of risky users provided by Azure AD. This highlights the account information which can then be acted upon by an administrator. And then stepping into the rules area, Tanium can proactively assess risk on endpoints using highly flexible real-time data. Some of those examples are evident here. The endpoints with high vulnerabilities, endpoints where Defender for endpoint is disabled on those devices, endpoints which may have some configuration policy config issues or they're out of patch compliance. Endpoints are dynamically placed into these groups based on their current posture, and Tanium determines the owner or operator of that device, then that particular user is placed into the risky state. At this point, conditional access policies would apply to the user upon any attempted login, which prevents a potentially compromised user device from accessing confidential services. Additionally, behind the scenes, Tanium is able to remediate these conditions proactively by applying the requisite operating system patch or making a configuration change or updating third-party software and a lot more. Overall, Tanium's integration with Azure AD services serves to significantly reduce the attack service of an enterprise. Back to you, David. Thank you, Mike. Uh, what we'd actually like to do is uh, talk about yet another integration that we've developed working with the Microsoft product teams that takes into account the same theme of combining real-time device data and control with the analytics and orchestration provided in Microsoft's ecosystem. And we're actually going to talk a little bit around uh, what we've done to integrate with Sentinel, which is Microsoft's SIM and SOAR solution. So let's take a step back. Um, 
many of our customers have challenges with their implementation of SIM and SOAR. Uh, typically, they have a security operations center that is inundated by too many alerts, which and, and there are too many alerts that are being triaged too slowly, and they're often unable to focus on what really matters. And what we've done with Sentinel is actually uh, made it easy to not only collect data performantly, but because of how Tanium collects data, collect only the, the data that you need when you need it, and also critically, not just collect data and then surface alerts, but actually be able to pivot on that data and make changes to an endpoint, as opposed to waiting for 300 more machines or 5,000 more machines to exhibit the same behavior that generated the alert before responding to it. And so uh, what we're gonna show you now is how real-time data plus analytics and orchestration within Sentinel can actually make it easier for you to cut down on the number of alerts you have. And for the alerts that really matter, actually triage and investigate them much more quickly. So with that, I'll hand it back to Mike to show you what that looks like. Absolutely. So we see Sentinel as a linchpin in many ways, both to Microsoft and Titanium in this context. Customers and partners are dealing with just an unprecedented increasing amount of telemetry and Sentinel is an awesome way to make use of all of that data, whether it be for correlation, analysis, leveraging it for response, add Tanium to the mix and we can really streamline how those decisions are being made and as well as how Sentinel operators actually choose to respond to incidents as they arise. Effective automation, orchestration, and response is really only possible when remediation workflows are built on comprehensive, accurate data about an environment. And this is why Tanium's integration with Microsoft Sentinel is so significant. Through that integration, you can ingest Tanium data. It's comprehensive, it's detailed, it's real time, and drive powerful remediation workflows without ever leaving the Sentinel console. I'm going to show this off for you right now. Here I have the Sentinel console. SOC analysts can ingest data from a wide variety of sources to investigate, correlate, and remediate threats all in this one place under a single pane of glass. And one of the elements that we've invested in with Tanium is a, the ability to take our data and visualize. So you can easily see Tanium's real-time data directly from, from within Sentinel, whether that's threat data, whether it's compliance and vulnerability information, patch status, Microsoft tooling health. We can provide oversight into the agents for Microsoft Defender and Configuration Manager, among other things, to ensure that they're comprehensively deployed, they're all up to date, and they're functioning properly. Pivoting over to the incidents view, I can explore what's possible here. Using Tanium actions, I can actually go ahead and run playbooks that we've developed. So for instance, I might want to get some additional context about the compliance information about this particular device. I can choose to execute that natively from within Sentinel, retrieve those results, and so my security operators can immediately see, are there any failed compliance checks, some configuration items that don't meet our standards? Maybe this is some drift, or it, it, at the very least, it represents some element of risk associated with this particular alert. And this kind of showcases that one of the biggest drivers of inefficiency in a SOC is the delays that are associated with looking at additional data by having to pivot out of Sentinel. Instead, we have it all unified. Rather than switching context to another solution, another tool, the SOC analyst is able to go ahead and leverage Tanium immediately, getting detailed, accurate, real-time data with a few clicks. Beyond investigation, you can also use Tanium Direct to directly remediate threats or close vulnerability gaps. And right now, you can easily quarantine an endpoint high speed using Tanium Playbooks. But next month, we're releasing the, the updated version where you'll be able to easily harness the power of Tanium's real-time distributed architecture by writing your own automated remediation playbooks. With that, what I'd love to do is just summarize how Tanium and Microsoft work together today. And uh, Mike will give one more quick demo of the broader set of capabilities beyond our uh, AD and Sentinel integration, Azure AD and Sentinel integration. And then we'll go ahead and talk a little bit around roadmap. So as you can see, Tanium enhances the value that customers get from their Microsoft investment, regardless of how deep that investment is. We, we work with a variety of capabilities from Intune and Endpoint Manager to AAD, Purview, Defender, and Sentinel. And I won't read all of these things to you, but in general, the pattern you should expect 
when Tanium and Microsoft work together is that Tanium is going to continue to provide the real-time visibility and control that our customers have grown to rely upon and enrich that real-time data and control with uh, analytics, orchestration, and intelligence provided by various other parts of Microsoft tooling. And our hope is that the real-time data provided by Tanium combined with the analytics and intelligence provided by Microsoft's capabilities will actually allow our customers and partners to pursue real automation in their IT estates. With that, I'm actually gonna hand it off to Mike to show you just a couple of these use cases that are on the screen right now. Thanks, David. I'm gonna step into our threat response solution. And one of the areas we've been working with for quite some time is Microsoft's Defender for Endpoint technology. So within our threat response solution, we have the ability to automatically ingest Defender-based malware alerts directly from within the interface that allows us to have that unified view of not just some of the threats that we're detecting as part of the Tanium engine, but also that which is rendered and brought up to, to the console by Defender itself. And then we also have the ability to upload forensic information from endpoints in real time to a location like an Azure storage account, which gives users the ability to have a secure and flexible way to store all of their data in the cloud. And another thing worth touching on from the Defender for Endpoint perspective is we've been managing Defender for Endpoint with respect to their next generation protection and attack surface reduction features for quite some time. So we wanted to provide a unified console that allows administrators to determine and report on the real-time health of that environment, whether that be the anti-malware definition versions that are out there or the outstanding engine versions, anywhere where we might have some deviation and disabled antivirus software. We can also manage the file-based quarantine and uh, deploy and update Defender agents on all of the managed systems directly from, from within Enforce. And then we can extend a lot of this capability as well into uh, other areas of policy configuration. So think about things like app locker for application control, bit locker for drive encryption, device control for hardware, uh, approved hardware and removable storage areas. And then also extending it even further to include elements that are traditionally managed by policy. So we can ensure that Defender is working well in conjunction with Tanium, adding all those exclusions, managing all the different configuration elements associated with it, as well as all of the other areas of policy that are configurable within Windows endpoint. Uh, and then there's a lot of other areas that we have not touched upon, like the ability to patch Windows operating systems and manage configuration on Windows endpoints. But uh, there's a, a pretty strong established baseline of elements that we provide as far as feature set on Windows as well. So just to summarize, in terms of where we're going next, many of our customers have asked us to do a tighter integration with some of the endpoint resident tooling that Microsoft has on the manageability and security capabilities. Specifically for manageability, many of our customers have asked us for a single pane of glass that brings together Tanium's real-time data for the devices that it manages, as well as the data that uh, is provided by Intune for non-traditional devices, mobile assets, that can and see all of those assets in one place. The second integration that we're very excited about is with the MDE team. The MDE team has done truly yeoman's work, going from alerts to the exploits that generated those alerts to mapping those exploits to CVEs and of course CPEs. And what we wanna do working together with the MDE team is to bring together the recommendations that MDE provides and actually be able to skip this entire loop and make sure that alerts that are generated for a couple of machines are actually have the root cause addressed via Tanium before they turn into you know, thousands of alerts that have to be triaged. So that's what we're really excited about working with both the Intune and the MDM, excuse me, the MDE teams. <laughs>